Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we are discussing hot news about Tesla's new partnership to produce cheaper battery, a new Cybertruck prototype at Giga Texas, and Tesla Giga Berlin's final production date. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. Tesla is said to be in talks with Chinese battery manufacturer Eve Energy Co. over a potential supply contract for low-cost batteries. According to information provided to Reuters by people familiar with the situation, Eve's batteries will be used to boost the supply chain of Gigafactory Shanghai. Eve is known for manufacturing lithium iron phosphate LFP cells, which are less expensive to produce but have a lower density than NCA nickel cobalt aluminum batteries, which Tesla still uses. Tesla is now using LFP batteries in its vehicles, such as the Made in China Model 3 Standard Range Plus, which is currently manufactured at Gigafactory Shanghai. So far, Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. has supplied Tesla's LFP batteries, CATL. EVE Energy will then become Tesla's second LFP battery supplier. According to anonymous Reuters reports, Negotiations between the EV manufacturer and the battery supplier are already advanced, with Tesla hoping to finalize the relationship in the third quarter. According to one of the news outlets reports, EVE Energy is now conducting final stage testing for the LFP batteries that Tesla may use. So far, neither EVE nor Tesla has commented on the potential battery supply contract. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has been very honest about the company's need for more battery supply. Even though Tesla is producing its own batteries in the form of custom 4680 cells, which are intended to be used in vehicles such as the Made in Germany Model Y, Cybertruck, Semi, and probably the Model S Plaid Plus. This was emphasized during the fourth quarter and full year 2020 conference call. Let me be clear, Tesla wants to increase its purchases from cell suppliers, and we've made it clear to our cell suppliers, be CATL, Panasonic, or LG, that we'll accept as many batteries as they can make. So, and we encourage them to boost demand, and we will buy as many as they can give us, Elon Musk said. A greater supply of low-cost batteries in China will almost certainly help Tesla's ability to produce more base vehicles at Gigafactory Shanghai. LFP batteries from CATL are already included in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. EVE cells could then be used in less expensive versions of the Made in China Model Y or even the $25,000 vehicle that is scheduled to be unveiled soon. With EVE Energy as a partner, Tesla could get closer to its target of delivering 20 million vehicles globally per year by 2030. Another big news is that Tesla Cybertruck spotted at Gigafactory Texas and makes people wonder if it's a new one. Tesla is still building at Giga Texas, and it appears that a future resident of the facility has been hidden on the second floor. The Tesla Cybertruck, which has people wondering if it's finally a new prototype. The Cybertruck was unveiled in November of 2019, and Tesla stated that it will be available by the end of 2021. The electric pickup specifications can also be updated slightly according to the automaker. We have yet to see the updated design that Elon Musk has teased will be released soon, and as far as we know, Tesla has only unveiled the initial Cybertruck prototype. We hadn't seen a Cybertruck prototype in over six months until it appeared at the Gigafactory Texas construction site a few weeks ago, and Tesla then unveiled it in New York last week. A Tesla Cybertruck was recently spotted in a new drone flyover at the Gigafactory Texas. The first Cybertruck prototype could have made it from New York to Texas, but it would have been shut down in a matter of days. 
Tesla intends to manufacture the Cybertruck at its Gigafactory in Texas, and if production begins by the end of the year, the automaker should have some prototypes ready for testing by then. Of course, the vehicle in the video is too far away from the original prototype to notice any differences that would indicate that it is a new vehicle. Tesla is nearing the start of production at the Gigafactory Texas, but it will begin with the Model Y. The factory's first Gigapress was recently spotted being used, most likely for validation and tuning purposes. Although the official deadline for Cybertruck is still late 2021, Musk has hinted at a possible delay until 2022. Since the electric pickup truck has a steel exoskeleton, it necessitates new production techniques. When it comes to implementing certain latest manufacturing techniques, Tesla has warned that it may face some difficulties. Tesla has over half a million reservation holders for the electric pickup truck, so there are a lot of eyes on the program. The next news is about Tesla Giga Berlin's production dates. Economic Minister confirmed that Tesla Giga Berlin would begin manufacturing vehicles in late summer or early fall. Following a meeting at the Landtag's Economic Committee, Brandenburg Economic Minister Jörg Steinbach confirmed that there should be no significant delays as previously announced. After questioning reports that the German factory would begin production in early 2022, Steinbach confirmed to Tesla Rati last week that Giga Berlin would be planned for a late summer or early autumn start. I have no idea how someone would come up with a six month delay, Steinbach told in an interview. If nothing unusual happens, I still intend to start production in late summer or early autumn, the economic minister said of the plant's expected start date. The delays until 2022 were first mentioned by German media outlet Automobile Walk, which stated that a member of Elon Musk's circle had informed them that the Brandenburg-based plant would not begin production until next year, long after the originally planned start date. Steinbach, who has stayed loyal to the project since its beginning because of its ability to improve the local economy, has maintained his estimate of a mid-2021 launch date. According to Tag Spiegel, he reaffirmed and repeated his forecast made to Tesla Rati to the Economic Committee of the Land Tag in a meeting on Wednesday. The rumors of a delay are mainly due to Tesla's new addition of a battery cell manufacturing plant on the Giga Berlin site. As Tesla submitted these proposals, the entire project application had to be revised. Although car production will not be delayed as a result of the addition of a battery manufacturing plant, the whole project will be delayed as further time is required to complete the facility altogether. Another source of delay rumors is the extensive approval process for a project of this magnitude. According to German engineer and Tesla enthusiast Alex Voigt, certain projects require three to five years to receive final approval due to careful review of the plans, application, and future environmental impact of a building project. If this additional investment is now flowing into the permit application, it goes without saying that the application documents must be updated, and then the approval authorities have the final say. Dietmar Wojtka, Brandenburg's Prime Minister, said, Tesla stated in the Q1 2021 update letter that production and deliveries of the Giga Berlin will begin later this year. The automaker said that production at the German plant is on schedule for late 2021. Paint, stamping, casting, and other machinery are also being brought into the house. Meanwhile, we will aim to increase import volumes into Europe. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla, and thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, We've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.